Good Monday Makers, it's time for the Community Build Roundup, and in this week's episode we're going to be checking out some adjustable solar panel frames, a hunting boat blind, a cargo bike trailer, a duck blind, and a holiday prop frame that's really cool. All these builds are awesome. We've got a great lineup of builds that we're going to check out today. And remember, even if you're not making any of these specific builds, you can still watch along and get some techniques and different ideas that you can incorporate into whatever it is that you're making. With that said, let's jump into today's builds. First up is this really cool build from Craig. He had this tent set up at Burning Man this year, and he used Maker Pipe and Conduit to attach these solar panels to his tent that he had set up here. You can see that basically he's got EMT branching off of the tent and he used empty conduit couplings with the quick clamps to be able to adjust the angle of the solar panel and you know rotate it around. You just undid that clamp and then twist it around, which was a really smart idea to be able to adjust the solar panel. And then at the top of the vertical piece that's attached to the tent here, you can see that he used 45 degree connectors with maker pipe flanges to attach the solar panels to the frame. Nice and simple, just the flange attached to the solar panels with a really short stub sticking out of the flange and then off of there, the 45 degree connector is attached and then it just goes down into the coupling like we talked about. Really awesome, here's a side view of it where you can see that kind of construction of the short stub, the 45, the flange and the coupling there. And I think he did this a total of three times it looks like on the tent. So a really cool idea and a great way to do an adjustable solar panel and just a really great build. So thanks so much, Craig, for sharing that. We really appreciate it. Next up is an awesome boat blind from Ben. And this is really cool. You can see here he's got a nice boat and he wants to do some hunting out of it. So he made this really sweet duck blind. And I love the, the shape of this and just how it all looks. Basically, he just used empty conduit. I think it's three quarter inch. And it looks like he just basically started by making a big rectangle that goes from the front of the boat to the back. And then he achieved some nice angles using the T-connectors. You can see there's another rectangle up here that is joined together with the bottom rectangle, but it's kind of at a slant because he used the Maker Pipe T-connectors to achieve a different angle that goes up from the bottom uh, rectangle down up to the top. And we can see that he painted the conduit and the connectors, it looks like brown. And I see some end caps in the end of the conduit there, which is a nice way to finish off the, the, the ends of the pipe. And yeah, it just looks fantastic. And I really like he used, it looks like hardware cloth or maybe these are cattle panels. I'm not really sure the difference of those two things, hardware cloth and cattle panels. I think one is more rigid than the other. I could be wrong. If you know, definitely let me know in the comments. But nonetheless, he used one of those materials here on the framework, which as we've talked about in the past, whenever we did that duck blind roundup, it's a really great idea for securing materials because you basically get this huge grid system that you can use zip ties or whatever method you want to secure grass and different things to the framework. So that's really cool. And then he also used, it looks like some sheeting of some sort. I don't know what this is either. Some kind of foam, maybe? Not entirely sure. Or I've, I've seen a lot of hunters like to use rubber mats. Maybe that's what this is. But you can see, basically, wherever he wanted to have a swiveling, uh, a window, or anything like that, he put some rubber mats around that, or in that uh, area. And then he's got the hardware cloth or the cattle panel over top of that in some places as well to then add the grass, as you can see here. And then we'll go back to the very first picture and you can see it's fully kitted and loaded out. And he's got this, uh, the, the hinging window on the sides and in the front so he can stand up there. Super cool, really awesome blind. I just love the way this looks with all the different angles and things. So really awesome, Ben. Thanks so much for sharing this. We really appreciate it. Next up is a project from Todd and this is nice and simple. He said he had a child trailer, child's, child's bike trailer. I'm not sure if this is for a child's bike or if maybe this was some kind of trailer that had a car seat or something attached to it, not entirely sure. But nonetheless, he turned it into a cargo trailer really easily. Basically, you can see that he's got the, the bed of the trailer. It's just flat there, has a um, kind of a rack system on there to keep things from falling out the bottom. And he basically just built a simple rack using four verticals, looks like half inch EMT conduit, and the three quarter inch maker pipe connectors with the adapter shims to build with half inch EMT. And he just used, it looks like 90 degree connectors at the top to make this rectangle that goes all the way around. And then he added two cross supports from the front to the back uh, using the maker pipe T connectors, as you can see here on this side and then on the same on the other side. And basically just added some rails 
to keep things from going outside of the frame. So he can use this, uh, you know, if he's going to the beach or, you know, whatever he's doing, going down to the, the, the corner store, whatever it might be, he can just uh, use this and he's got this rack system or this grid system that he can use bungee hooks or, or bungee uh, cables and things, ratchet straps, whatever, to secure the, the cargo to this and then the rails that he built with conduit and maker pipe will keep things from falling out the side and just give you more uh, security there. So really cool, Todd. Thanks so much for sharing this. Really love to see it. Next up is another duck blind and this comes from Pat. And this is different from the other one because this is meant to be a freestanding uh, frame and not inside of a, a duck blind or not inside of a boat. And this is really cool. I like this a lot. We don't really see this with it when it's got, you know, camouflage and grass on it. But we do get a good look at the frame, which is really cool. And you can imagine this being covered in camouflage and everything. And this is really great because you can see that it's got a bench in here that is incorporated into the design. So I love seeing this framework as a whole because you can kind of see the shape of the, entire, uh, of, of, of the entire blind. And you can see the windows here that the hunters are going to be looking out of. You can see the bench that all they have to do is add some you know, wood, maybe some cushioning there to that. And then you can see just the overall, like I said, the shape and where everything, uh, where, where all the camouflage and everything is going to secure to the framework. And it's using one inch electrical conduit. And it looks like a majority of T connectors to create these sloped um, pipes going down. And then we can see some 90 degree connectors here and 90 degree connectors here. And then also in the front and back. So it really just looks like a mixture of 90 degree connectors and T connectors, just those two types used uh, in various places, and I like the way that he used them. A lot of great techniques for using the 90s down here, kind of flipped over as a different orientation than this one, and then kind of used them in the same orientation here to create this reinforcement for the bench. You know, you're going to have hunters sitting on this, probably a few of them. I'd say probably at least three, so you want to make sure you got support for everybody. And just looks really awesome. So thanks so much for sharing this, Pat. Looks like a really great frame, and if you got some grass and things attached to it now, we'd love to see it all finished up. But hopefully it's working out well for you this hunting season. And again, we appreciate you sending it in. So thanks so much. Last but not least, this week is a really awesome holiday prop from Matthew. It's really cool. <laughs> this is Henry the Snowman. And he said that his niece named Henry, which is really cool. And you can see here that it's basically a large snowman. It's got lights all you know around the outside and different places throughout the snowman. It's going to be really cool all lit up here with the other props and things that he's got set up in the yard. And basically just used empty conduit and maker pipe connectors to create this angled triangle frame. And I really like this technique here. So we've talked a lot about securing builds that are freestanding in the ground using some stakes from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And those are staked into the ground and there's a piece of three quarter inch empty conduit slid over top of that, as you can see here. And usually we see a tall vertical and it's kind of hidden in the pipe. But because this is meant to be a triangle going up, it didn't really need very much sticking out. So you can kind of see the stake is sticking out of the, uh, the top of the conduit which is totally fine. And you could even really use this as a guide to hammer the, the stake in the ground and just kind of hammer until it sits flush with there if you wanted to. Just depends on you know how much how deep you're trying to go and how long the rebar stake is. But that's a really cool idea. And basically just used adjustable angle connectors to go up from this the, the front to back pipes. Adjustable angle pipe just sends that piece of conduit up at an angle up to the top of the triangle. And then another adjustable angle connector here to attach the vertical that goes down and secures with a 90 degree connector here. And then there's a cross brace with T connectors. Really cool, looks fantastic. And something really awesome, you'll notice here there are some mounts securing this snowman to the framework. And a lot of uh, you know builders of holiday props and light shows and things have asked how to secure props to an EMT frame. And he shared a company uh, or a business, Inspire Light Shows. Here's their website, of course I'll link it down below. And they have STL files that you can download to mount things to EMT Conduit. They have some paid versions and some free versions. Looks like some really cool stuff. Here's like a 45 degree one. Here's like a round one that looks like a, just a round flange. Some rectangular ones. Really cool stuff. And uh, definitely check out their website if you're building holiday light shows and mounting props and things because there's a lot of great resources in here. So huge thanks to Matthew for sharing this build and for sharing a link to that website. We really appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for posting your builds. As always, it's a pleasure to sit down and take a look at the awesome things that you guys are creating. If anybody watching wants to see any of these builds in more detail, 
I'll be sure to link them all down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next video.